What's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 In this video we'll be covering the total server collapse redacted challenge. We'll be covering the don't eat the buffet challenge which requires us to eliminate all targets with poison. And finally the canary in the server uh, in the server farm. Which you have to eliminate all the targets by gassing the underground facility with all the targets in it. So for this one we're going to play on casual and we're gonna, all we're going to bring along with us is the pistol and a lockpick and a coin. Before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Also, if you've missed any of these videos I've covered so far, there's a link in the description of the full playlist of videos. Also, a big shout out to Bradley Manson for giving me the idea for this particular challenge. So, a big shout out to Bradley Manson on Twitter for that. Thank you very much. And uh, first of all, we are going to need to head straight to the underground facility. That's where we're heading straight away. All of our activity is going to be heading all over there. The one thing I don't like about this map, unfortunately, is the fact that because it's so huge and a lot of the challenges do require you getting on this other side of the map. Um, and I could just use a different start location, yeah, but I do want to use the most basic equipment that you could, that you should have. This is why I'm not using any equipment that I've unlocked from this particular map uh, in any of my videos. So we could easily have done that, though, but I wanted to stick to the whole default, for, uh, default location format kind of thing. And uh, yeah. That's the reason why I started in the default location still. But uh, once we got over to this over, over this area over here, we need to get ourselves a disguise a, and a key card to get in the access to the underground itself as well. And we need to get access to some lethal poison as well. You could have brought it along with you. However, for those people that don't have lethal poison, and because I know where the location of the poison is, I may as well just show you. So once we enter this compound, we need to throw a coin underneath the stairs. That's going to create a distraction for one of the guards. He's going to move his way down the stairs. And we're going to go ahead and take him out and grab his disguise. You can pick the pistol up on, off the floor if you want to. We are going to be gunning down a lot of people a little bit later on. So, uh, yeah, don't expect this to be like a silent assassin method because there's going to be a bunch of lab tech people down in the laboratory area. And they're going to be very, very inconvenient if uh, you don't take them out. So I highly recommend you just killing them. So here's the key card that we need to grab. And we are going to head through the back entrance because it's the best way to get to the poison. And that is the way, direction where we're going to go. So just around the back, there's going to be a stairs leading down into the underground facility itself. Now, if you're quick like I am, you would have noticed there's a guy in the room just in front of me. But uh, just ignore him. Go downstairs. And then once you've gone down that first set of steps, head up to the top of the second set of steps. Once you're up here, you're going to need to use the key card on this door right here. And just in front of you, there's going to be a like a little uh, cabinet. Once you've used a lot pick on that, you'll get the lethal poison pills out of that. And that's what we're going to use to poison the ventilation system a little bit later on. Once we've grabbed that now, we're going to head all the way down to the bottom of the stairs into the facility itself. And that's when we're going to start taking everyone out strategically. St strategically taking people out. If there was some sedative or something like that, maybe I should have, I could have just done that. Could have brought some sedative poison or something like that. I could have poisoned the vents. And then uh, turn the ventilation system off. That's what I could have done. That's what I should have done, actually. Bring along some sedative poison and poison the ventilation system. That's what we should have done. Damn it. It would have been a lot easier than this. But we are essentially just basically gunning the people down around the area. That's uh, the most dry, minimalized amount of uh, panic as well. So we're shooting these people that are not in front of other people. So I recommend you just doing it in the same order as me to avoid uh, panic. Panic is going to ensue a little bit later on. It's inevitable. As soon as we start pulling out these racks, it's going to be four racks in total. But the reason why we want to take out these uh, scientist guys is because once we pull these racks, do you see where it says investigate distraction right there? They're going to come over and repair it and fix it. And uh, we need to get all four of these that need to be pulled out at the same time. So uh, that's how we get one of the challenges completed. So that's why we're taking them all out now. Just to save that issue being a problem. But once you've got all four of them there, that's when one of your challenges will pop up for you in the top right corner of your screen. When I did this and recording, um, I didn't actually save the clip. So I had to re-record this. That's why you're not seeing all the challenges pop up for you in the top right corner. But all we have, have to do at this point really is just wait a very long time. Because all three targets will be uh, heading their way here. Stephen Bradley, he does run here quite quickly. And Tyson Williams does make his way down here quite sharply as well. 
but uh, Ludmilla, for some reason, she likes to take her sweet house time um, when it comes to this this room being gassed. Because they need to be fixing the servers down there, and uh, it requires all three of them to sort it out. What I found interesting as well is there is actually a phone in this room as well, which I don't really know why. Because you can, you can call Ludmilla, but you still pretend you are Tobias Reaper, so I don't understand the purpose of that. I don't know. The speakers in this room as well, which could, we also could take out another potential challenge as well, dropping the speakers on their head. Just going through these things as I'm waiting. But, you know what, let's just skip it. So with two targets already down there, and they've stopped their panic and all that kind of stuff, Lubrila is just about entering the laboratory to our right, you can see there in the minimap. She's going to be heading her way down there. And as soon as she enters that area, you can go ahead and poison the ventilation system with the lethal poison. Uh, just debating how to take, take this guy out. Throw, I'm just going to throw a muffin at his face. It doesn't really matter. You can shoot them in the face anyway. But we've already killed multiple people. This already is going to kill multiple people anyway because of the gas as well. So uh, once you've poisoned the ventilation system, all three targets will die. And that's when you'll get two of the challenges popping up for you in the top right corner of your screen. And uh, it's just as easy as that. Also, if you are interested in the, another challenge where you have to escape via an aeroplane, to go ahead and uh, carry on watching this video and you'll see all the way up to the end that you can indeed escape via the airplane you don't have to get any special key or anything like that and the plane is actually uh, very very close on the compound itself so just follow where it says emergency exit head around the back this is where we came in by the way and the plane is just going to be in the back in the distance there it's just as easy and simple as that it's just like the sappy end or exit but once we've exited there, you'll get all the challenges pop up for you at the end to confirm that you've got all the challenges completed. You don't have to finish the mission to get all the challenges saved. But um, yeah, if you wanted this plane exit, obviously you're going to exit the mission anyway. But that's essentially how you do all three of those challenges. So hopefully this has helped you out to all three challenges in one video. And uh, yeah, we can go ahead and move on to other stuff. And probably this is probably my last video for today. But that is going to do it for this video, so thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on the video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel, and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. And consider supporting me on Patreon, or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below, uh, or clicking the link in the description for the full details of the uh, different perks you can get by becoming different members tiers of the of the membership. Also, a big shout out to Argel and big shout out to the Shave who become top tier Psycho Sass members of the channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you probably tomorrow. Cheers.